Hello and welcome everyone, welcome to Hedo Again. Today we're going to be talking about one good ra rant for today and ho hopefully it gets done today be because we've been planning, planning for the, this one for, for a, about a week or so but, but basically the main point is the Nintendo Switch came out on the 3rd but by the YouTubers that are pretty famous that get uh, sponsored by for the different ways of, uh, of mainly Nintendo, they got, they got, they got this from, but um, it, it kind of took a toll on me and it got, got me jealous a bit because I wanted to get the uh, Switch on the uh, on the third, right? But I just could, couldn't do it because I was pre preoccupied at the time. But mainly, the, this rant is about three YouTubers that. They can got it. They brought up some good points about it, but still, I'm I'm not happy about about these YouTubers right now. So, anyways, he, he, here's how we're you know, special guest Brit Meister to tell you more. Hey guys, it's Brit Meister on Hado Games channel. Thanks for the wonderful welcome, Hayden. I uh, we're gonna, yeah, as Hayden mentioned, we're definitely gonna talk about some YouTubers out there that apparently were very lucky to end up getting some of the glorious Nintendo Switch like uh, before he even came out which was the day it came out was March the 3rd which was a Friday and I ended up being not one of those people that ended up getting it when the time came out because it was insanely crazy when the day happened but yeah like there's even still hasn't been more out in the stores yet or anything, so it sucks for me and Hayden that we haven't got our stuff, there are things yet, but anyways, the rant is about three YouTubers that end up getting it, and one of them ended up being informing that, oh, these higher YouTubers get any game system early from the actual companies, which that makes it unfair. Like, hello, like, they don't really kindly deserve it. They should have made it fair for it like everybody else. Like, it's totally, like, I don't, I don't think that's kind of bogus. That's just me. But, I don't know exactly, like, really? Ugh. I don't know about sometimes. But, let's talk about, let's start getting off with one YouTuber. One YouTuber, I go by the name of Blabber Barbie. She is, like, so really annoying. She always, always breaks about every new thing she gets. All the time, like, she makes it sound like she has to put rub in everybody's faces about her new things that she gets. That sometimes are not even out yet. Like, what the heck? Like, especially when she got the Nintendo Switch. And then she rubbed in everybody's face how amazing it apparently was, but then saying, oh, that, oh, I'm going to always play Zelda. I'm, I'm the big fa gamer fan. Nah, 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 nah. Like, really? You seriously are a Nintendo fan? Yeah, you can just buy random things and just pretend to be a Nintendo fan. You have to be a Nintendo fan since the time they probably came out. Like... Seriously, yeah, I can't understand. You have a lot of Amobis. Anybody can have a lot of money and buy a lot of freaking Amobis. For no goddamn reason sometimes. But still, honestly, like this ha this, she has to sell and get her head out of the freaking gutter or in a mental wacko place. No offense to some mental people, sorry. But still, honestly, she... Like, even she did recently an Amobi video. Of all the apparently Amobi she has, 175? What in the world would you do with 175 Amobis? Like, what in the world? And then she, she says, oh, I love Zelda, I love Zelda. Really? Have you had exactly all the Zelda games? I don't think so. But anyways... Hayden, well, let's get back to Hayden of talking about the other YouTubers out of the three that we will be discussing more about. Yes, 
Wow, I do agree with Hubert Meister. Oh my gosh. Everything that, that you just said about, about it was just amazingly sad because like I do not care for Blabber Barbie. She's just the most weirdest YouTuber. Like, okay, yes, I kind of like the, the, the uh, Hamibo thing because, because she sh shows some of them that I didn't even know actually existed, right? But but uh, all in all, she's like really irritating. Like, come on, Blabber Barbie. Who cares what you've had first and all that? Just stick with the stuff you got. And don't rub it in, uh, in our faces like, oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but now let's get to the other YouTubers that we have have as well to, today to, to talk, talk about, and also this evening, and maybe t tonight as well more. Um, <clears throat> anyways, the YouTubers that we are going to be talking about is the, also the Black Nerd. Which is a real screwed up nerd. <laughs> like, I, I like to some of his videos, but when it came to the Nintendo Switch, that guy was crazy. Like, come on, he he just got so hyped and you know, all that, and I'm going like, really? You're so hyped and you're being dumb like this nerd? Oh my gosh. And then there's this uh, other nerd we found out. Uh, on the plane, uh, right, right? That he said he can do. We could take it, uh, take the pad, pad a tablet of uh, of the Nintendo Switch and uh, a few other games, which I think is cool. Well, do not get me wrong, it's really cool. But his points were soundproof, perfect, and all that. But still, getting uh, too much ahead of ourselves on the actual point. We don't have the Nintendo Switch yet, so I don't have to care about the vi video games that, that are going on right now because I just want to drag it down by myself. <laughs> but man, I hate the nerd, like the black nerd I mean, that he is so freaking annoying for just rubbing in our faces again and making jokes. Are you serious? Like, I, I liked his videos on her reviews on movies and all that but now this a nintendo switch he has to get it first come on like these guys on youtube and all that the most famous of the t top 25 uh, most fa famous youtube tours pewdiepie smosh oh my god there's so many of them uh, lea uh and the freaking nerd the freaking nerd! <laughs> Come on, like, give us a break, you guys. And like, don't get me wrong. I, I am hyped about the switch, but I, I don't rub it in your faces or anything. Like, yes, I got some some, some uh, movies that I might show you later on uh, down the road when I'm doing videos. But still, I'm not gonna rub it in your faces because, like, I, I don't care about making people feel bad. I want to make people feel good. And all that. Like, I just love how, how, how Nintendo is the, these days. And now that they're te teaming up, teaming back up with all, all the other co companies and all that for, for ca Capcom, D DC, and all, all that, Marvel. Like, I'm happy that they're make, you know, making amends from, from last, from the last two or three year, years of uh, uh, Nintendo Wii U. They didn't do much with that. And, Rittmeister, you take it away. Yeah, it's like, it's not really right to have all these high YouTubers that do get the Switch before it even came out that just suddenly rub it in everybody else's faces that can't really afford it or haven't had it yet before the, even the Switch even came out. Like, I understand, like, they're able to get it, but it's not fair to rub it in everybody else's faces that haven't. Especially Blabber Barbie, like, it's too much. Like, yes, I know the video of a Mopey that she did, her collection, was pretty good. And to know that there's different other characters that are possibly we never knew existed. But still just rubbing our faces that she has all these, including Skylander ones and stuff like that. 
But that doesn't mean that you have, like, I understand you probably have lots of money because you, everybody viewing your videos and stuff. But still, like, you don't need to rub all, every single one of, even towards the Switch game of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Which, that turned out to be an awesome game, of course. Like, all Zelda games were pretty good. So, that I, I know of. But, more to my point... That Blabber Barbie needs to tone it down on all the stuff, especially towards the Switch. Like, my lord. And also, that Black Nerd, yeah, when it became, when he did the video, when he, he got the Switch, he just acted like a very immature little, like, pipsqueak nerd, uh, kid. Like, worse than a normal kid, but yeah, no offensing, but still, like, he doesn't need to act like that. If you're presenting the game, you're supposed to have a bit of fun, but be more professional towards it. Like, show more respect towards Nintendo, since they're the ones that created it. Hello. <laughs> like, but seriously, Black Nerd? Like, okay, yeah, I can see that... He does pretty good reviews for movies, but this is way out of his comfort zone about the Switch, but he just made it like horrible for anybody to really watch it, though, to, for the Switch. And then, yeah, I do agree about the plane, that yeah, it was good and everything, but still rubbing in the face, though, that yeah, you can take it there anywhere, pretty much, but still, like... The con about the plane thing was that usually when you're on a plane, you're supposed to have any electronics on. That it, sh it sets off the frequency of the whole plane. If there's so many, con like, on and stuff, apparently. But due to him, like, it was just really messed up, though. But he w it was good, though. I liked the video and everything for that. And then for another YouTuber... That I think, well, I don't really have exact name for him, but still, like, he gave a few points of how, how the Switch could be, but he didn't really fully, like, structurally, like, explain certain things maybe he liked about it, or didn't really like much about it, like... It was just very all confusing. He was like all over the place, but it just didn't make sometimes much sense. But I know we it's hard that we haven't had the Switch yet. Like both of us. Like I know everybody else in the world already has it, but for us too, we don't have it. And I and I hope you do track it down, hate Hato Game. I hope you do. But like I know there's so many ner uh, so many people out there that actually have it and it's, it's kinda of unfair. But yeah, I I did get a few Mobis too, but I might get more down the road and I might make a video as well. But anyways, can now your turn, Hato Game. Oh, just some good tea. Yes, I do agree and agree with you, Brett Meister. Like, my gosh, everything that you just said about, about each and every single part of the those. Rubbing in your face, and you guys like, oh my gosh, I'm black people. Barbie is way too much. So the black and nerdy, he overdid it a bit. He overstepped a line that was not supposed to be crossed. <laughs> and then that uh, other nerd that was uh, on the plane and train, come on, he's got some good points, and like. What about the other guy that you were t t talking about? Like, who, 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 who is he or she or some, something? But I know everyone else uh, might have the have the switch and all that, but it's all good, I guess. I uh, I like how it's designed and all that, and like, my gosh, there are so many things going on about. About it, like holy crap! I don't know what to think about about the console now because of just all the whole thing now. But also, 
Uh, also, from from what I've seen of the black nerd, he he made it seem like it was just a big deal, and that he was the center of attention. And I, I don't get get that at, at all. Like, oh, oh my god, what, what the heck is go, going on, right? Like, holy crap! And then blah blah blah, blah Barb, Barbie, come on, but. Anyways, that aside, what I think of it, I have nothing bad to say. I'm just really excited, excited to try to get get the switch in like a week or so, something. That's my main point: to be having fun with it and like to see how cool it is. Like the first few games I'm I'm gonna be get, getting for it, obviously, till till Legend of Zelda game, maybe the Mario. Go Go Cars Deluxe Eight a game. I don't know what else, but I I might get a few few others, and that's cool. That you might get somewhere else, a movies down the road as well. Meister, I'm happy for you on that, and uh, you're up next. Yeah, I do agree that of course I'm a tea lover too, <laughs> but. Other than that, yeah, from Black Nerd and Bar and Blabber Barbie and all of them, it's just too much. They just overdid the presenting of how the Switch is and and all that. Like, I know you can have fun with it, of course. It's a game console. And it's an amazing console from what I've seen. And it looks pretty awesome to play and all that. Like, it's really cool and how the graphics are on it. For the games that are slowly been coming out and all that, like it's so awesome. Black Nerd, yeah, he he just made it very, like he made it all pretty much about himself technically, but it's supposed to be about the Switch and what your experience is with the Switch. That's what I thought. That's what I thought the videos were gonna be about, even with Blabby Barbie, and the other person I mentioned. Um, he was, I think, the, um, I can't really remember his name, but he, his, well, his YouTube thing was the unboxing therapy one, and then it was also the Austin Evans, I think, I don't remember his exact name, but those were nerds, too, that were just overdoing it, but they were good a bit, but they were definitely overdoing it as well, and they ended up being the lucky ones, too, that ended up getting it before it came out, so I'm like, oh, great. Like, uh, it's not fair. They keep rubbing in the face. Like, uh, yeah, I understand you when you get yours in a week. But still, I know you would never do that, honestly. I know you're more of a popular YouTuber than me. But still, I if, even if I was able to get it, I would not rub in anybody's faces out there. No way. I obviously make it fun, make it seem all awesome and everything and well presented properly like even describing how it is and my experience with it like holy like i still don't get how these high youtubers end up getting it before anybody i still don't get that point i still don't like it doesn't make any sense to me at all that's just me but other than that yeah like i thank you for that, yeah, I do love these Amobis that came out. Like, I'm so happy about them. I, like, I can't believe I got my very first three already. And now I can't wait for maybe slowly down the road getting more. And then maybe do a little video about all of them that I would get. But I don't know how many exactly I'll be getting. But we'll see how it goes down the road, of course. And I don't mind if you did too, Hato Game. Like, how many you'd be getting for yours and stuff. And I can't wait for you to actually get the Switch. And, of course, definitely get the Zelda game. Of course. Yes. But the Mario Kart, that only comes out April the 28th. So, you can't even get that yet. So, but, you'll probably get that down the road, which is fine. Of course. But, other than that, like... Seriously, I'm starting to hate some of these YouTubers that actually are pissing people, some certain people off. Because they got the Switch before anybody else did. It's still unfair. I've been reading some people's stuff. It's not cool at all. But other than that, I'm happy that 
that Nintendo has brought all this out and recreating all these old classic games and then coming out with these other newer ones that look pretty awesome that I've seen and I'm happy about it. So any more other rants that you would like to talk about for these YouTubers that end up having the Switch or further information about what you would actually do towards the Switch. Take it away, Hayden. <laughs> yeah, I, I just do love my TV at night. Oh my gosh. But right now, I'm having a Diet Coke. But uh, anyways, yes, I agree with everything that you just said about, about these YouTubers. Holy cow. I've seen some, some of the comments as, well, like, what in the world is happening? They're, Everyone is just so mad now because of the pe people that can't get it and then the people that do have it. They, it's, I don't really know what to say about, about it. I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, all the pe people out, out there are like, doing their, their best and trying to find it. And yes, I... I will be ha ha happy once we both get get the switch over for our, ourselves and <laughs> Britmeister. That that would be really good, and I'm still really happy about about the uh, amiibos that you got. But for later down the road, which will come real soon for me, I'll try to get get a few more. I, I don't really know yet, but all I know is uh, I'll make it quick. And not some slow because like for the new games that are coming out and all that, I want things to be pretty fast for gameplays and all all that because like I don't know, it's just me that that's thinking that. But I'm also oh my gosh, hopefully I have the switch by in like next week or so something. I mean, like, I went to EB Games the other day, they said that they were completely in the dark about, about when the, uh, when the drop-off would be for, like, between this week or next week. But, um, either way, I th think for these YouTubers, they should stop rubbing our faces in it. Like, come on, it's... It's completely insane and and not even relevant for for people that don't have, have it. And for the other important parts of the vi video, um, let's see, do I even have a few tips? Um, mainly for for, for the switch. If you're gonna put you. Put the app in YouTube on. Maybe you want to put, a, put the some software inside that that lets you record your gameplay and then upload to to YouTube. That that would be pretty good if they they did that. But other than that, they can already do screenshots of of it in every console except for GameCube is 64 and all that. They did it for the Wii and Wii U, supposedly for, for the Switch now. But other than that, I don't really know what, what to say. What do you hope that they bring to, to the table for the for the Nintendo Switch? Like, I, I don't know. It's just me that's thinking that off the top of my head. Take it away. Oh, I totally agree about the tea thing. Oh, man. I love having my tea at nighttime, and I like having it in the morning, too. It's like, it just feels so rejuvenating and so relaxing. And then, of course, you had to have your pop, of course. You had to have a bit of caffeinated a little bit. But anyways, yeah, I do agree about everything else that you were saying, along with what I said in my last clip. Um, but yeah, like, seriously, all these famous YouTubers have gotta stop with all this snobby mumbo-jumbo sh shenanigans. Like, jeez, every time something comes out new, they have to, like, 
be the parent of the first ones to get it before it apparently comes out and then make a, such a big thing but made inappropriate sort of a little bit here and there but still it's crazy stuff but what can we really do technically besides ranting on them as we've been doing this whole time which has been amazing thank you Hato Game for having me as your guest on this video again I love collabing with you it's so awesome but other way other stuff uh you that was a really good point about having that to export the the videos to upload it to YouTube. Yeah, that would be really awesome to have that happen. Especially for gameplays or maybe assisting in a way for other people to do YouTube videos in a sense. But my things that I would want to do for the Switch even for an update for it if I was able to get it at all, which I'm hoping I do some way. Um, my thing would, my tip would be, yeah, like I said, for the exporting for all YouTube, of course. Um, maybe add some special featuring towards maybe the videos. Or at least, like, make more... Um, Oh my gosh, I'm going mind blank. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, that... <laughs> yeah. Um, to maybe possibly make in a way that you can probably add like more than one amiibo to the games. Especially in The Legend of Zelda, if you add more once at a time. If it was able to. But who knows? Uh, and I do love the amiibos that I got. And I love yours that you showed me the other day. I love those. Yeah, I'm not going to say... I wasn't really referring saying I was going to do it like so slowly. But of them getting the amiibos. Like, I know that I would love to get more right now. I probably even might get a couple more. Maybe. This weekend, possibly. But, yeah, I'm still... I'm still waiting to get my my switch one of these days and that sort of sucks about that you have to wait for so much longer now that they don't know when they're gonna get any more shipments like that kind of sucks but I'm hoping you do get it soon because you deserve it you deserve one just saying <laughs> but other than that yeah like I'm more excited for more of these games to come in for the switch and see more characters come in too i can't wait but anyways towards more of this rant of these youtubers what other tips should these youtubers present of more future consoles and further content doing to gaming or other interesting videos that will come along the way. So, take it away. Yes, I totally agree with you on, on that. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, all of these YouTubers have got to stop and uh, and like just stop rubbing it in our faces and <laughs> everything. <laughs> my gosh. But, yeah, I see your point on, on it as well. Um, oh my gosh. Like, just a bit crazy with most of them. Like, and now that you just said said that about the uh, uh, amiibos, I thought you actually meant you're gonna get them slowly, just by waiting a year or something. But, but now that you said that, that you're gonna possibly get get more of them sometime this week or weekend or so, something. <laughs> Now that that actually makes me relieved because because I was a bit concerned when when you said in your other video that that you said you'll be getting them slowly, but me I'm gonna possibly try to get them get more of them every single week or month or something something so that that's just me okay I'm like that <laughs> that's, that's just me uh, for that that part and also for. For your other 
question about about the consoles and you YouTubers. Hmm, that's a really interesting question because I don't really know about about them that much. But if they they present themselves as natural as they can be, I would like that way more, and not just be over dramatic, over hyped, and all. All that, like, sure, you can be hyped to a minimum, like I, I am with with the unboxing videos that I did, did uh, uh, about a year or two two ago when I uh, un did my unboxing on uh, the Xbox One, the unboxing for the PS4, and uh, uh, all that stuff. I I did that, that with my parents, and I did one with with my friend Brandon, right? <coughs> But then, then I have had a few other the unboxing videos that I think I accidentally trashed that never really got to YouTube. But for for the Nintendo Switch apart part for YouTube stuff, and the, I 100% agree with you, Brit Meister. Oh my gosh, it should be perfect the way we should ha have it. For updates and all that, for like broadcasting on YouTube, for for, for gameplays and all that, using our uh, headset mic, so for for the different things like this one is for an Xbox One, but it's still good. Um, I, I don't have a PS4 headset, but I ho hope to get get one soon. But anyways, for software updates for the Switch and hope. Hopefully they will do this, but but to upgrade YouTube by voice activation would be really uh, completely cool and all that. And also, oh my gosh, I, I don't know what else to say because like our rant video right now has been already a success. I'm just having so much fun right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and yes, I I sincerely do hope that you do get a Switch as well, Rittmeister, so we can can play online or something. That that's one more thing we could we can rant about. This whole thing with online stuff is getting insane. But take it away. I see what you mean, Hato Game. Like, oh my god, like yeah, they need to really fix up their content when they present a very amazing object for the content like the amazing of the how the switch should be really presented of course and they shouldn't like go overboard and crazy and all that i totally agree about that with you and how all this ends up happening now like oh my gosh like it's just really, kind of nerve-wracking, but I understand how your stuff is. Yeah, you did. I remember in the past, you did a few unboxing stuff, including with Beefer. Of course, I remember all that. And yeah, I did a few unboxings myself still, which is all good. And um, yeah, now, now apparently about the buying stuff. Like, now you have to pay for online now? What? Like, it's already bad enough you do it for the PS4, and then uh, for the Xbox One, and then used to do it for the Xbox 360, and PS3, and now it's for the Switch? Like, what gave them that idea to do that? And also, to really play online is to pay for it? Like, why do they do the same way? Like, seriously, what in the world were they thinking? Like, it should have been better to have it online and play offline stuff. Like, hello. Like, my god. But, yeah, other way, anyways. Yeah, I I know, I'm sorry I confused you about the Mobis thing. But, yeah, I'm definitely going to slowly keep going and going. Like, probably, like, every couple weeks to a month depending try to get almost all the mobies that I can get including with the three I already have but uh, it's gonna be really awesome and everything and I I do hope thank you I do hope I do get the switch 
at some time soon, maybe. Uh, I have to see, of course. Um, but other than that, I do agree about the YouTube stuff that maybe they should even have it for like headsets and all that too. But the voice automatic thing, oh my god, for YouTube and stuff like that, oh. Oh man, that would be an amazing feature to that. I think so. That's a really good idea about it. And it's all right about uh, the YouTubers that you don't really know them well enough. But at least we got to do what we got to do. But I still just, on the other note, I still just don't get it. Why? That they want us, Nintendo wants us to play games, any game, online. Like, I would rather play, like, maybe the Zelda online and offline. Like, oh my gosh. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here, guys. And catch you guys later. Welcome to Hato Game. Thanks, Hayden, so much for this special video. And I really appreciate the honor of you, you letting me be on here. All right, bye, guys. Catch you guys later. Hato game. Welcome to Hato game. Enjoy gaming.